Hey guys, welcome to part two of my houseplant tour. I had an intro, but I can't find a clip right now. So we're just gonna settle with this. I do wanna bring something up from the first video. So in the last few minutes of the video, when I talk about my Hoya Mathilde, I talk about showing a picture of the blooms or flowers that the plant has and I didn't show it. So I'll put a picture here so pretty oh my god if you haven't watched part one i would encourage you guys to check that out first but anyways guys enjoy the rest of this video back over here is one of my anthuriums this is my i think formerly known anthurium salgarens but now it's known as anthurium decipiens or decipens but uh look at this newest leaf guys and yeah, I mean, she looks cute. Um, I love this one so much. Very like, not a fussy anthurium and really resilient. Oh my gosh, this looks crazy. I didn't take a close look guys. I'm like, this is like really pretty, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, back here is my begonia. Sophie Cecile, or just Sophia. Uh, she looks really cute. She's an angel wing, or I think it's a cane begonia that's what people call it but yeah i mean she's huge i don't know if i want to repot her the roots are smaller but yeah i don't know we'll see she's pretty happy now in the spot that she's at with the, with the grow light um okay so moving on to this side um this is my hoya thompsonii this one has the white blooms it's a new plant um, but we'll see the blooms hopefully soon Okay guys, I just wanna, just a side note. Um, I have a grow light over here. Um, I'm really happy of what I did because I was very resourceful. <laughs> so I have these two stools from Ikea that I don't use anymore and they have holes in the center. So I just, if you wanna come closer, I put these two bamboo stakes over here. Over here. I can't even show you guys, but can you see it? Yeah. So these two bamboo um, crossed with zip ties, and then I essentially just tied it to the grow light underneath. And yeah, I guess that's a resourceful way to make a stand or like a, a light holder when you don't have like the supplies and don't want to spend the money. Up here, we have a few Florida ghosts. So you can see here, she's cute. Um, yeah, I don't know how this one's doing, but we'll see how things go. Then this little baby propagation, which is in soil. You can see there's a number of different leaf shapes and colors and everything. This is the newest leaf over here. She is this yellowy, I think she's gonna get a little more minty through time. Down here, we have a philodendron micans. This is one of my propagations here. The mother plant was the one that I showed you just down there, um, but she's cute. Okay, and I'm not gonna bother um, pulling out these plants because it's a real pain, but uh, my Syngonium family all lives here under the grow light. Um, we have here the Syngonium albo variegata. Uh, then we have over here, the Syngonia Mojito. In the middle here, we have the Syngonia Pink Splash. Lots of pink, which is really exciting. Another Albo over here, Syngonia Albo uh, Vergata. Then we have a Syngonia Wendlandii. Then back here, another Syngonia Wendlandii. Beside it, another uh, Pink Splash. And I think that's all the Syngoniums. Okay, so back here, guys. I don't want to show this plant, but I think I have to. I put up a video a few days ago. I think it's Monday. And this is the Monstera Stanleyana. And uh, she's not doing great. I spoke about it not doing great in Luck and Passive Hydroponics. And like the leaves over here are yellow. And I know they're older leaves. But yeah, I don't know. She doesn't look happy, guys. But I mean... I guess I'll be honest and show you <laughs> that she's not doing well, but she lives back here. On another note, another propagation that I showed you guys, this is the Monstera Siltipacana, and specifically this one, look at how big the leaves have gotten. 
And I think there might have been some root damage with this one because the leaves started coming out really big. But uh, now they're coming out really small. Uh, I gave it a coir pole to climb on. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh, girl. Okay. Um, so this is another Imedrium medium silver. It's a propagation. It's the top cutting. I destroyed the rest of the top, so I had to chop it off. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's still alive. We'll see how that goes. Um, this is an orchid, and this is the Phalaenopsis GW Green World, I think. Snake skin, that's what it is. Uh, but she's still blooming, guys, and I was very lucky to get a plant like this with so many buds. But she is so pretty, guys. These are propagations of my Hoya Felura, which is the one over here. I decided to chop this plant up just because it was growing a lot. And yeah, I mean, you could see, oh my god, I just noticed over here. Do you see that new growth? That's the first that I'm seeing. And it's I think it's been about a couple months. But uh, that's exciting. So she just stays on the grow light just because... She's a little young one. Back here is my Epipremnum Panatum Cebu Blue. She's doing so well. Look at this leaf. I don't know if y'all can see the silver, but she looks crazy. There's two plants in here. This is the other one. And yeah, I'm just hoping this matures. Obviously you could see the bamboo here so the leaves can get bigger. We have another, uh, a Philodendron Florida Ghost. She's a little cutie. One of the slowest Florida Ghosts I have. I try so many things. Do you know what? I'm happy that there's a leaf at least. In the center, guys, this is the jade plant. I think it's cress. I don't know the word, but this is the jade plant. She lives right under here. She usually lives next to the bed, but because in the winter time, there's not a lot of light that comes through here at least, um, I decide to put her over here so this plant over here this is i don't know the name of it but i think it's originally a terrarium plant so i think it's called philodendron species gosh do you know what i'm gonna put a name somewhere but you could see there's two plants here it's a shingler maybe i should have given it a wood plank or something but i mean i don't know if she's happy but like she looks happy i'm just gonna you know keep her like this and we'll see what happens this Hoya, guys, don't judge me, but um, this is, oh, what is the name of this? Do you know what? I'm going to put it here. Um, look at these leaves in the summer because there was a lot of light and warmth. They got so big. Then as the winter came, they got so small here. Um, I did this trellis thing that doesn't look great but it's doing the job for now i'm definitely going to probably propagate this um but maybe not we'll see she's just the leaves are so big and they need something like really tall and big to climb on so that's why i made this down here guys this is my anthurium crystal hope this is the newest leaf here um she's pretty there's a bunch of damage, like the Queen Anthurium. This is the oldest leaf. You could see the edging here is pretty damaged. And even the newest one here, there's a little bit developing. But there's an offshoot here, guys, also. A little cute one with a new leaf. So I'm probably going to separate this plant sometime soon. And look at this inflorescence. This is really exciting. At least I think it's an inflorescence. I mean, what else could it be? Okay, over here, guys, this is one of my Florida ghosts and she's staying white even though the winter is here and there's, you know, less sun, I guess, cause it's like right off of the grow light, um, but she's happy. Then over here, we have three more of my Syngonium Chia Pants, um, one of my favorite plants. I love this plant so much. Um, yeah, she's cute. She's doing her thing. So again, I just don't want to move these. Um, but here is a propagation of my Begonia Maculata Whitea. She's propagating in water. You could see roots developing right there. 
Over here is my Epipremnum Panatum Albo Vergata. Yeah, you can see some fenestrations, which is great. I do need to give it something to climb on, I know. Um, I just don't have the time. Back here we have Propagations and Lecca of my Begonia Sophia. I, I filmed a look at the roots kind of video. It's not up yet, but the roots look really good. So stay tuned for that. Over here is this really sad, <laughs> the, the blooms are just falling off here. Um, yeah, I really need to transfer this one. I don't know the name, but I'll put it in the video. Um, beautiful, beautiful yellow blooms. I'll show you a before picture actually. Um, but she's currently in moss. And yeah, I said once the blooms died, which they are, like look at them. Uh, <laughs> once they died, I would definitely uh, repot it into Lekka. So I'll do that pretty soon. Another Phalaenopsis here. This is the Diamond Mitu, Mitu Diamond Panda, I think. Um, that is about to open up, which is really exciting. It wasn't that big before. So, I mean, I'm doing something right, I guess. Uh, again, she's in moss. I'm also going to repot this in, in another substrate once it's done blooming. But for now, we're just gonna hopefully see some blooms in a bit. And over here, it's the Hoya, Hoya Elagiorum. So, I don't know if you could see this plant, but this is the Hoya over here. Not, that's not the one. It's this one over here. She's doing okay. Um, she's pushing out a few new growth points, but they're hard to see over here. I think there's one right there, but it's not in focus. Anyhow, she's growing. And then the last couple of plants on this level are another propagation of my philodendron micans. And then another Florida ghost. Look at this leaf, guys. This tends to happen with like really white leaves, but it's a way of life, I guess. Oh yeah, and then up here, guys. <laughs> my friend, one of my really close friends got me this. Um, there's a snake plant in here. Uh, the snake plant's dying, so I honestly think she cursed it, and now my plant's dying. How dare she? Okay, guys, so we're done with this level. <laughs> we're moving on down here. <laughs> there is another grow light over there, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take them all out because I feel like that's a lot of work. I'm getting tired, y'all. So starting here, this is my begonia maculata, whitey eye. Uh, she's putting out smaller leaves. I think it's because it's the winter and because uh, she's growing out of a number of places. And I know she looked pretty lush before, but we'll see how that goes. This is my Hoya. Is it Macro? I can't, I can never, ever say this word. This. Ma Macgillivraya. I don't know. But here she is, everyone. Back here, we have my yellow variegated Syngonium. Over here, she's getting a little, you know, the yellow parts are starting to crisp up a little bit. Um, that's why I was very happy to see this leaf. I needed a little more green, not totally yellow like this. Behind it are the propagations. They look really cute. And again, like the other one, when there's a lot of yellow, the leaf tends to just like not do the greatest, but there they are. This one, I don't know the name of you, but look at this new growth point that just started coming up. Can y'all see it? Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. I don't know if the leaves are gonna be as big, but you know, I better give it something to climb on soon because she's growing. Back here, we have a couple of my Philodendron pink princess propagations, and they're not showing much pink. Um, they're kind of slow, actually, when it comes to growing. Over here, we have my really sad Philodendron pastizanum. I propagated this plant. It gave me this weird leaf. <laughs> but look, guys, there's a new leaf. I don't want to touch it or ruin it or anything, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated with that. I have a series going on. 
over here hoya kaimuki look at you so cute um i think there's new growth coming in over here nope i lied yep not growing anything yet is it growing anything at the base mm, nope okay not doing anything okay back here my little cute 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 philodendron pink princesses uh some pink there pink stripe there but uh yeah all of this growth there's like four growth points they're growing from one stump while we're talking about pink princesses this is the one that's doing the best so the newest leaf over here gosh can't show you guys anything okay there's some pink over there uh you saw in that my pink princess propagation video this leaf was there already and I mean, the other ones have a few swatches of pink, but nothing. This I want to say this one's the best one so far. Back here is a propagation of my Anthurium radicans dress. That. <laughs> then a propagation of my Hoya Matil. She's doing great. Here is my Hoya Carii. I don't know if it's Vergata, but that. I've been struggling with this one, to be honest. Up here are basically wet stick propagations of my Hoya Filura. I want to do an experiment and I'm filming that currently. This is my baby Villodendron Melanochrysum. And I'm having issues with this one too. I, uh,. The leaves keep getting stuck. I actually, a leaf just ripped off here, but yeah, I mean, she still looks cute. She's still doing well. And I mean, I just need to keep an eye out on the leaves really. This is my philodendron cream splash. And I think you could see some cream over there. And then this is new growth coming in right over here. Cute. This is my propagation from my mother plant of my philodendron strawberry shake. She's really cute here. And a new leaf is coming in, which is great. My most hated plant here. This is my, <laughs> this is my Anthurium esmeraldensis. Um, she's actually growing a little quicker now. This is the newest leaf. There's a new growth point. Right over there is a new growth point. This Hoya, which is, I, I'm told, a really hard Hoya to grow, has a new growth point. Over there, this is the Hoya Ariadna, I think. Over here, guys, these are my ZZ Raven propagations. I think I posted a video, not a video, a picture on my Instagram of them and their rhizomes and their roots. That was taken like six months ago. It hasn't done much. I think the shift into Lekka really did something to stunt their growth. But I don't know, the far back over here, let me zoom in. Wow, this is the slowest zoom ever. But there is a new growth over there. Okay, Syngonium Podophyllum Albovarigatum. These are the propagations that I propagated straight into Lekka. Working on that video currently. Other propagations of my Syngonium Podophyllum Albovergatum. Look at this white leaf. You're going to die soon, but she's so pretty. Oh my God, I need to take pictures of this. But I just love when the leaves look like this. Like, that is so pretty. Okay, back here. I think it's the Hoya Damunensis propagations. I bought this plant in October, chopped it all up by single leaf cuttings, and she's finally, I don't know if y'all can see, they're pushing out slowly new growth points. The one in the far back, right over there, tip of my finger, you could see new growth. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I know the leaves look really chlorotic. I hear that's a common thing with the Hoya Damun Damunensis. I don't know. Right over here are these two pots. These are the propagations of my Hoya. What's the name? I think it's Hoya Hanny. Hanny? Hanny? I don't know. Hoya Hanny. 
But uh, these new leaves, I did the same thing. I didn't say that, but I it was the same thing as this one. Single leaf cuttings when I first got it. And this one is growing a lot quicker. You could see the shininess in the new leaves. There's probably like, I wanna say like six, six cuttings in here and then a couple in here, but they're doing great. Over here is the rest of my Monstera Siltipicana cuttings and propagations. Uh, she's in soil. Let me take off this leaf. But yeah, again, really happy. She's doing great. I had to move this to get to the back, but my Alocasia Black Velvet, here she is in all her glory. She is cute. And last but not least over here, this was the top cutting of my Raphidophora Pertusa, this newest leaf here. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but these take forever to root and thrive. So this is actually a huge accomplishment. This leaf over here uh, was already existing on the mother plant. And yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, Y'all, I'm tired. I'm so thankful in the first half or the first video. Uh, my boyfriend was helping me, but it was taking a long time, so I felt bad. So I decided to just take over myself. Um, let me just put a few things back. There are a few more. There's maybe a couple in my living room, and then I just realized there's one over there. So just give me a sec. Okay, so we're just at the other side of the room. Um, all my plants. I guess this is a better angle. Oh, this is a pan. I'm sorry. I'm like really tired. Uh, this is a pan of all my plants. And like when you look at it like this, there doesn't seem like there's a lot, but there's a lot. Um, so here is my ZZ Raven, guys, just in the corner. There are new growth points here, one over there, over there somewhere. I don't know if y'all could see it, but it's there. This is, there's a grow light and it's in a box here. This is my Philodendron Mykins. The reason it's isolated here is because there was a thrip situation. Um, I did put beneficial insects. I'm just too paranoid to bring it back. Uh, so she's living just next to my bed with this grow light. Okay, last but not least, there's a few in the living room. So let me just walk out here. So this is my variegated umbrella plant or my Schifflera. And she's one of my favorite plants. She's losing its variegation. Um, in the newer leaves here. Actually, that one looks pretty good, uh, but you could see down here Much more variegation and I mean this is this is common to see then last but not least over here My aglionema my Chinese evergreen and then my ZZ my regular ZZ plant here uh, Got some yellowing over here. Okay, so there's a couple more so forgot about this one. I'm actually going to propagate this one. Uh, this is just a regular a snake plant here, the green one. And I guess I'll show you guys this. Oh my god. This is... I'm really sad. This one was also hit with thrips and I just like sprayed this too much and tried to like try to get rid of the thrips. Is she just in water right now? She's not doing great. Um, I'll show you a picture here. A number of pictures actually of what she used to look like, but she's cute. But yeah, guys, thanks for sticking around. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a two part kind of thing. Um, so if you haven't watched the first part, uh, please do that. You know, I really squished them in an area. I know I realized that, but uh, I give them what they need. They have proper humidity, air circulation. They have lighting with the grow lights. And uh, in, the, in the summer, there's much more light during the day, um, but it's January right now. If you guys like these kind of videos and want to see a spring tour, I'll probably do that in two to three months when it's springtime. And I think I'm going to keep this like seasonal. There might not be many changes in the spring, but there might be. If you've watched the first video and you've made it to the end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.